heartless attackers laugh in their mugshots after they brutally beat Korean War vet during robbery. Carol Jordan, 86, beaten and stabbed in his Chickasaw, Alabama, home on January 27. He died on Saturday as a result of complications from surgery. Alleged attackers D'Angelo Terrell Smith, 21, and Yasmin Munerlin, 19, grinned in their mug shots. Third suspect Carlos Nottingham, 20, had a more somber look. The trio has been charged with attempted murder. They'd just been accused of viciously beating and stabbing an 86-year-old Korean War veteran during a botched home invasion yet these two thugs couldn't stop smiling. D'Angelo Terrell Smith, 21 and Yasmin Munerlin, 19, grinned widely in mug shots following their arrest over the brutal January 27 attack on elderly Carol Jordan. The third suspect, 20-year-old Carlos Nottingham, had a more somber look in his official police photo. The trio has been charged with attempted murder and burglary after allegedly breaking into Jordan's Chickasaw. Alabama home and assaulting him. Jordan died on the weekend due to unrelated health complications. Jordan was rushed to hospital with serious injuries after his neighbor found him in his home. Opposing views reported the alleged attackers, who've had past brushes with the law, allegedly broke into Jordan's home to steal his flat screen television. It was found in his backyard after the attack. Jordan's wedding ring was also stolen, according to an incident report filed in court. A fourth person, 18-year-old Robert Campbell, was also arrested, but charges were later dropped as there was no evidence he was involved in the home invasion. The trio were arrested in early February and charged with attempted murder. The charges were briefly upgraded to capital murder, a charge which carries the death penalty after Jordan died in hospital on Saturday. However, the charge was dropped following the results of an autopsy, Mobile County District Attorney Ashley Rich told Fox 10 News. The autopsy has now been completed and as horrible as these defendants' actions were that day the cause of death has now turned out to be complications from surgery due to an aortic aneurysm that Mr. Jordan had, Rich said. These injuries that the state alleges these three individual caused did not cause Mr. Jordan's ultimate death. So therefore, the capital murder causes against will be dismissed. Smith, Munerlin and Nottingham faced court yesterday, with Judge George Hardesty ordering that they be kept behind bars. Fox 10 News reported a preliminary hearing is slated for February 27, and their cases are likely to be sent to the grand jury. As the trio were forced to confront their dark futures in court yesterday, Jordan's family, friends and even strangers gathered at an emotional funeral. Jordan's nephew Donald Johnson told WKRG his uncle's alleged attackers should be held accountable for their actions. I believe a lot of people are still angry, not only us but the people that have been seeing it on the news and on the internet too. I believe people were outraged at the way it was done and the things that happened, he said. I feel sorry for them that they had to stoop so low to do something like this to get a few dollars and they should have went out there and got a job. According to AL.com, Mobile County Metro jail records show the three suspects have faced jail time before. In 2013, Smith was arrested on three separate occasions on charges of third-degree robbery third-degree assault and unauthorized use of a motor vehicle. His robbery case was sent to a grand jury in August 2013. On February 5, prosecutors filed a motion to have his bail revoked in light of his most recent arrest. Court records show Nottingham was sentenced to 10 years following a 2010 armed carjacking. He pleaded guilty to an amended charge of second-degree robbery in February 2011. Last year, Munerlin was charged with two separate counts of third-degree harassment relating to domestic incidents.